Hello Cancer Leo, thank you so much for coming to my channel, thank you for all the comments, likes, subscribes, views, return views, thank you so much, I appreciate each and every one of you. Please remember that I read the cards and you decide how they apply to you and if they can apply to you, there's no way this can connect to everybody. So the oracle cards I put here, which are for you, the tarot cards are the people around you, but you could show up over here as well. So use your intuition on when I'm talking about a card on who it applies to. Your first instinct is probably your best choice. So I suggest to all my viewers also to have a dream journal. When you wake up at night, write down the time and write down um, a dream or the thought and then go back to sleep and do this every time you wake up every night and go back and review it in the week, the month, whenever you have time later that evening. And it could help you learn about your subconscious, what's going on, um, how loved ones can connect to you, messages. Also, a moon journal is a good thing to have, too. So the first one that comes up for you, Whispers of the Ocean, is gliding through the currents. With a different approach, you will glide through a current situation with grace and ease, going inward, and bringing your understanding and perspective or behavior into the flow will help your dreams take flight. This is the manta ray. They swim with their mouth open because they get plankton. So I do feel like this has something to do with communication. I feel like you're going with the current, which is best for you right now, so go with what the energy around you is very important. And I feel like they're wanting you to talk about your emotions. They're wanting you to voice whoever's with you about what's going on with you instead of being closed off. And I feel like this person is going to reciprocate and communicate back to you as well. Just you two, like in a privy manner, so to speak, about your own personal situations. So four, life is better together. This is the pilot whale. They go around in pods of a thousand and they have one leader that everybody follows. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you'll notice the 13 if you add it is 4 and this is 4. I'm really big on numbers. 44, you can self-teach yourself about numbers by um, taking notes during my readings and then going and googling the spiritual meaning of the numbers. And then after a while you'll know the meaning and you won't have to go look it up. You can self-teach yourself. But 4-4 four, four means you've mastered some sort of communication, some kind of, a, some kind of emotion. You have mastered 4 to me is also where you are coming into union with somebody. Somebody likeness of you, somebody that's going to lead you to be more emotional, more boisterous. Um, the two of you are very compatible. So let's move on before the battery decides to go cuckoo. All right, so I hope I turn the volume up. All right, so I'm switching to the chart wisdom deck. And right now the battery's full, but I need to get new ones because, gosh, they drop so fast sometimes. All right, so Eight of Swords is somebody who is stuck in their own self-sabotage. Somebody is hating on themselves when they look in the mirror for whatever reason. There's somebody who just doesn't like themselves. It could be a literal jail. Ten of Swords. Somebody had a very severe betrayal, very bitter ending, very like overkill, meaning they really were very harsh in how they ended something. It could have been self-sabotage as well. So this is the Hermit, this is Virgo placement. To me this is clarity. This is when you get just a hundred percent clarity. You understand why something happened. There's no black and white. It's either or. It's a, just clear. So Four of Coins talks about somebody being very blocked off in love. Their heart is blocked off and therefore their money is blocked off. So they're holding their money and their heart very close to them. And then you have the Sun. Cancer Leo, beautiful. So this is two meanings in this deck. You have the Sun and you have the Chariot in this card. So the Chariot means travel, communication, moving possibly. So maybe you're wrestling with yourself about moving, um, your happiness, and then Queen of Coins. So Queen of Coins talks about a betrayal maybe from a female that was very, feel free to reverse, reverse that to a king where that would apply to some of you. Somebody who was very stable, somebody who offered you stability, 
who offered you maybe a home, security, and then four of swords. So four of swords talks about maybe you didn't listen to the clarity when it came to you. Maybe you second guessed yourself and you regret it now or somebody regrets that you listened to your clarity because we have the four of swords and we had the four of coins over here. So you are blocking yourself, blocking somebody, protecting yourself, and somebody is regretful that you are doing that because they know why you're doing it. That makes sense. So, ouch, three swords. So this is third party betrayal. Somebody who, I mean, we have the betrayal over here, and now we have definitely um, more betrayal. It's just amazing. So is this three? Nope, I have another one to get. So let's keep going. And you have judgment. So look at that, three people. So if somebody tried to block your happiness or cause problems for your moving forward, the universe is going to step in or you call judgment on somebody. Maybe somebody you had enough. You're like, I can't do this anymore. Three of Wands. So new opportunities came into you. These three gave you new opportunities. The universe said, shame on those people. Here you go, Cancer Leo. So Four of Cups talks about somebody looking to the past, being very regretful, stuck in the past, wishing they would have done something differently. And then Knight of Swords. So they're spying on you. They could possibly want to communicate with you. I feel like for some of you, they are coming towards you very emotional, very trying to uh, communicate with you. So Mystical Cats Tarot Deck, you have Cat Magic, beautiful. So this says that a lot of you have manifested your future, your goals, you have faith, you stood your ground, you did what you needed to do, work-wise, spiritual-wise, religious-wise, family-wise, you did what you were supposed to do to be able to move forward. And then Eight of Fire. So somebody is blaming you. I feel like somebody is disappointed that you're leaving them behind and you're moving forward. And they're regretful that they messed it up because they could have moved forward with you. But instead, I feel like you're going to meet somebody new. So Pride and Ego, Five of C. Somebody is very embarrassed, this person. I feel like they're so embarrassed of this third-party situation. It just seems so immature, so juvenile. And then Earth King. So Earth King is somebody in heaven who protects you, who gives you guidance messages. Another reason to have a dream journal. They could communicate with you at night when you're dreaming. But somebody is with you a lot when you're sad, when you're happy, you're celebrating. So the next one for you is Nine of Earth. So Nine of Earth talks about um, your goals, your future, your big picture. And then Five of Earth. So Five of Earth, we keep coming across this person who's blaming you for their life the way it is. They see them watching you. Maybe they drive by your house. They really are regretful they're not in your life. So Seven of Sky talks about their pride and ego um, caused them to be sneaky and take from you. I don't know if that's their excuse. I don't know if they're trying to do it again, if they didn't learn the first time. And then Denial. So there's some sort of denial. It could possibly be around sneakiness from this person. Um, or it could possibly be that you're getting communicated from a loved one in heaven. Because that's what card that is in front of. So then you have the cat, which is taking a leap of faith, doing something you've never done before. Whereas falling in love, moving, taking a job you've never had, traveling to a place you've never went. And then we have three of earth. So Three of Earth talks about people watching you. This could be co-workers. People are watching everything you do. They're really watching you very intently. They're paying attention to some skill you have. Step by step. And then you have Two of C. So Two of C is somebody who loves you, thinks you're beautiful, handsome, but it is clarified. Um, clarifying the sneakiness card, the taking from you. And then we have Two of Fire. So Two of Fire talks about um, somebody trying to make a decision on how to handle something. So I don't know if somebody you loved helped somebody else betray you. Is almost what I'm picking up here. And you're like, oh great, how am I going to handle this? Why does this person put me in this kind of situation? The Priest, beautiful. Feel free to vice versa to the Priestess where it would apply to you. 
the priest is very protected. The priest talks about um, your faith, your spirituality, overriding everything in your life and protecting you and taking you to where you want, making you successful and achieving what you want. Has nothing to do with anyone else. Wow, you guys, look at this. This is the priest and the high priestess. So this is a power couple. These are two people who are power couple in spirituality, who are protected by the divine. I feel like the female is a healer. I feel like this person is like uh, probably her protector on earth. He probably is very protective of her and guides her so she can do her work. Wow, this is beautiful, beautiful. Wow, Cancer Leo. So then we have Sky Kitten, which signifies, um, it's clarifying the true love, the attraction. So this could signify celebration where you're just finding each other or you're finally going to come into union. The divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, and then Six of Fire. Six of Fire talks about people around you who are watching you. There's somebody who's a narcissist who wants to take your light away. They want all the energy on them, all the attention on them. They're, I feel like they're a co-worker and people at work really fluff this person up, which does not help everybody else or the people who don't fluff this person up. Alright, so I do see um, a lot of people around you. You're healing. You're very protected. You're moving towards more abundance. So let's move to the Oracle of E. Cancer Leo and see what comes up for you. So you have, everything is beautiful, 32. So 32 would equal 5. So this tells me the universe is supporting you. They're giving you, telling you to support this, the change, celebration. Everything is going to be beautiful. The outside people are not going to affect you and your lessons and your goals and what's going on with you and your person. 33, open your presence. Something is coming full circle that is going to, everything is beautiful and open your presence. I just see a power couple finding each other and falling in love. So I'm going to switch to the earth wisdom. So the first one is inspiration 11. This is a master number because it's doubled. This talks about coming out of a very difficult time where you didn't have any support. You had to support yourself. You were like the lone wolf and the alpha wolf. And But what this did was made you strong. It made you come out knowing what you want, who's for your highest good, who's not for your highest good. You learned a lot about yourself and other people by being alone and finding your strength. So this always shows the crocus and the snow and the new directions, and it shows the diamonds. So something about you that went from being a diamond in the rough to being shiny and sculpted and lasered, if that makes sense. So awareness 13, which we had 13 right here. So you have 13 twice. So awareness talks about... Um, communication talks about you could have started communication or sensing on during the blue moon I think that was back in September and it could still be taking place I mean these are very powerful to where I feel like you have upgraded your vibration in the spirituality and I feel like a lot of you are lucky enough to find your power person from a past life that you two are here for special purpose which is going to make your life difficult. So don't think just because you found this person it's going to be all glory because there will be a lot of people out to stop your union. So the next one is Shallow and Master. Beautiful. So be graceful in movement and action. So this is a good one to Google too. If just You don't even have to put tarot and see what the meaning is. But this talks about you see the dragon behind him and the praying mantis and the ball of energy above his hand. This talks about going with the floor around you. Don't fight energy around you. Um, people I'm talking about. This also talks about if you're scared of your ancestors communicating with you, they're not going to force themselves on you. They will withdraw. They start in the dream state, I feel, and then they come out of the dream state. But if you're scared, they wait. They try and condition you and keep coming back and getting you used to it. Um, if you're a power couple, a high priestess with a high priest, I'm sure that's how they're communicating with both of you is through dreams, unless you're high. Um, 
channeling through your meditation. So one more for you, Cancer Leo, and you have Elder, Move Beyond Ancestral Patterns. I just got chills. So a lot of you have a definite reason why you're here. You're coming into union, I feel, with your definite um, partner from another life, and you're here for a reason. Um, gosh, I, this would be one I would love to go on and on and definitely keep going. So I hope this helps. Elder is a good, another good one to Google to see the meaning of that. You don't even have to put the tarot word with it. And just see what that means to you. Just see what you catch out of the meaning. So thank you so much, Cancer Leo, for coming to my channel. Bless you.